Hi, this is Tony Martin, President of Ink to Image, and I'm going to show you how to use the Photoshop template we created to make it easy to print images for our hex wrap canvas stretching system. For those of you who are new to our hex wrap system, there's an image of it on the screen. It enables images to be printed and gallery wrapped in a hexagonal shape as an interesting and novel alternative to regular square shaped wraps. The really cool thing about hex wraps, apart from their shape, is that they can be connected together in a collage or mosaic in any configuration you want. Here are some images showing different configurations using four hex wraps. So we'll just scroll through these images here. So you can see different patterns, different shapes. It's really up to you. We have a separate video video on our YouTube page that shows how to physically assemble a hex wrap. The purpose of this video is to show you how to set up an image in Photoshop for printing for a hex wrap. The first thing you need to do is set up your image in Photoshop. Let's open an image we want to print. So I've got a uh, nice image here. Here's a nice shot of my beautiful granddaughter Ivy doing a best Hollywood star impression. Now the problem with many images is that they are framed too tightly to gallery wrap and the subject matter would end up printing around the edges of the frame. This image of Ivy would probably wrap okay as is but we would lose a lot of her shirt and the background on the sides of the wrap. If I wanted to print this image as is for a hex wrap I would simply need to resize and crop to 12.75 inches wide by 11.5 inches high. Instead, I'm going to use our free, simple to use Photoshop template. Now, I've, to get our template, it's a free download from our website. I've just got our website open here. So if you go to the support page, then you'll see the download at the top of the page. Now I've already downloaded that template, so let's open it in Photoshop. And here it is, hex wrap template. So the first thing we've got to do is get our image into that template. So let's go back to the image of Ivy. And what I like to do is start with an image that's about 10 inches high at 300 dpi. So this image is 7 inches high. So let's get it to 10. 300 dpi set. OK. So the easiest way of getting this image into the template is to go over to the right here on the layer section and do duplicate layer and then select the hex wrap template and hit OK. That should have copied the image into the template. There it is. So the problem we have here is the image is actually in front of the template. So if we just grab the background layer and pull it below the template layer, there it is. So one thing I'd like to do here is just resize the image a little bit, make it a little bit smaller so we can see more. So to do that, we want to transform, which is Control T, and that shows the outline of our background image. And if I press Shift, we can pull in the corner, something like that. And now we can just move it into the middle. There we go. That looks good to me. So press Enter to finish the transform, and there we are. Now, if we printed this right now, it would print the image to appear on the front of the uh, hex wrap, and we'd have white around the edges or the sides of the hex wrap, which would look OK. Um, also, right now, we've set this up with a little stroke right around the edge of the image so that when you've printed it you can see where to trim it. But I kind of think this image would look different, would look better with a different colour. So with our template we can actually change the colour of the edges. So if we go over here to effects and just click to the left to turn on the effects, we 
you'll see that we now have a black border. That's the uh, way the template has been set when you turn on the effects, which is uh, a pretty common way of printing borders with a black border. But we could, if we want to, change the color of that border. So if we go over here and right click on color overlay, and then click on color overlay itself, and then click on this little black square, this brings up our color chooser and we can then change the color by just clicking anywhere we want on the on this uh, color chart. The other thing we can do is select a color out of the image that would be complementary. So what I'm gonna, I've got the little eyedropper here to just sample the color off of Ivy's uh, t-shirt there. So now we have a kind of orangey pink background that would look pretty cool or we could even really want to get funky here we could use the color of her sunglasses or even some of the color of a leaf behind her head so you can change the color of the border any way you want with this template but I'm going to stick with a pretty standard black which I think will look good with this image so if we print this now we'll have a black border to wrap around the sides of the gallery wrap. So that's it. Very simple to use template. Um, if you need any more information or want to see more about the hex wraps, go to our website at www.ink2image.com. Thanks for your time.